Well, Eliza, have you had enough? Are you ready to be civilized, or do you want more? You only want me back so I can take care of your slippers and deal with your temper. <laughs> Never said I wanted you back at all. What indeed are you talking about? About you, not of me. My manners are never going to change, and my manners are exactly like Colonel Pickering's. You treat a flower girl as if she was a duchess. And I treat a duchess just like a flower girl. I see the same to everybody. Just so. Like father. <laughs> the question is not whether I treat you rudely, but if you've ever seen me treat anyone else better. I don't care how you treat me. I don't mind the swearing. I've had a black eye before, but I will not be passed over. Then get out of my way. For I won't stop for you. You talk about me as if I were a motor bus. So you're a motor bus, all bounce and go, and no consideration for anyone? But I can do without you. You don't think I can? I know you can. I told you you could. Liar. Thank you. Never asked yourself, I suppose, whether I could do without you. You'll have to do without me. You know, Eliza, you hit my heart from the start. Even if you were ever really sucked. With those tattered clothes and flower girl hair, I said, with language I can take you anywhere. Is dangers and miles of them. So with the lines raw, I want lessons and honey. I ain't messing. I don't wanna be a flower girl anymore. Eliza, sorry for what I did, even if it's your own bloody fault. Eliza, sorry for what I did, even if it's your own bloody fault. Taught you so many things. The rain and pain, this is mostly in the pains. I took you under my wing. Eliza, sorry for what I did, even if it's your own bloody fault. Eliza, sorry for what I did, even if it's your own bloody fault. I can do without anybody. I have my own soul and my own spark of divine fire. Although, I have grown accustomed to your voice and appearance. What am I to come back for? For the fun of it. That's why I took you on. And you may throw me out if I don't do everything you want me to? Yes, and you may walk out tomorrow if I don't do everything you want me to. And live with my stepmother? Yes, and sell flowers. Ew, if I could only go back to my flower basket, I should be independent of Higgins and Father and all the world. Why did Higgins take my independence from me? Why did I give it up? I'm a slave now, all for my fine clothes. What am I to do? I don't suppose Pickering would though. He's as confirmed an old, old bachelor as I am. <laughs> That's not what I want. Don't you think it. Freddie Hill writes to me twice, three times a day. You have no right to encourage him. Every girl has a right to be loved. What? By fools like that? Freddy's not a fool, and if he's weak and poor and wants me, maybe he'd make me happier than my betters that bully me and don't want me. Can he make anything out of you? Perhaps I could make something of him. But I never thought of us making anything of one another, and you never think of anything else. I'll marry Freddy, I will, as soon as he's able to support me. Oh, rubbish! You'll marry an ambassador. I'm not going to have my masterpiece thrown away on Freddy. Oh, you think I like that you say that? I haven't forgotten what you said just a minute ago. Don't coax me like a baby. If I can't have kindness, I'll have independence. Independence? That's middle class blasphemy. We all have to depend on someone. Every soul on this earth. 
I'll let you see whether I'm dependent on you. Car is ready, Liza. Are you ready? Right. Not a second is coming. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Pickering. Oh, and by the way, Eliza, would you pick up a ham and some stilton cheese? By them yourself.